I think every year we've taken a step. You know, even this year, while we, we made it to the second round of the NCAAs for the third year in a row, we didn't get to the next round. But when you look at our body of work this season, when you're, you know, but listen, let's say it how it is. Four years ago, when if someone said Stony Brook's gonna beat Northwestern, they're gonna lead the whole game, no one's saying that. Coming into the season, I had no idea. You know, we, we shocked the world, we shocked everyone who was, you know, supporting us. And I feel like it was more fun to be a part of it because it was so shocking to everyone, you know? Like, we were like, wow, we can actually do this. So I think that was the best part about it. You know, my first year here, I watched Northwestern win a national championship in our stadium. And I, you know, I remember leaving there that night. I left early before I didn't want to see the celebration because I, I didn't want to watch anyone celebrate a national championship um, other than our team. So, you know, I, I think when you break all that stuff down and where we've gone, beating Florida at Florida after they beat us 14 to 1 the year before, and, and just those kind of things, like where we are as a program, we're in a completely different spot now. So, you know, now, now I think we're a lot, you know, our roles are changing a little bit. Now we're a little bit more of the hunted, not so much the hunter. You know, we're hunting, but other people are coming for us, and we're the big game on a lot of people's schedules. So, which we love. I, I always tell girls, embrace the role of the villain, because, you know what, let everybody, let there be some, you know, people always wondering how we're doing things or how we've climbed so quick. And, and the bottom line is our foundation of our program has always been about work ethic together um, and, and, and just caring about PIO, we always say it's pride and ownership. So, um, you know, our kids approach every day, you know, like that. And I think a lot of that goes to our recruit, recruiting philosophy where, you know, we want kids with more questions than answers so that there's never that, that silver spoon mentality here. It's just, let's go, we're getting after it. Um, us against the world mentality. And, um, you know, we're not stopping until we, till we win a national championship. It, you know, people want to say they're not going to do it. And those are all the people who don't want us to do it. The people who know the way I'm driven and the way our athletes are driven here and the way administration's driven here, we're going to get it done. It's just a matter of when. Yeah, I mean, definitely coming into this team, I knew that we had the potential that we had last year to get farther than we did last year. But, you know, I think that what Spillina's building here is going to keep growing throughout the next couple of years. And this year's a big year for us because we shocked a bunch of people last year. And I think this year is even more important than last year. You know, we just got to get to our goal of, you know, reaching past that second round of the NCAAs. I think every team kind of has its own identity, and we haven't really figured out you know, we're still early now with our team, but we're just so talented. I mean, this is by far the most talented group we've had. But I think you got to have a little bit of a rallying call. You know, I think last year, I think we went, you know, that was our thing, you know, and, and we embraced it and, and we did. You know, we beat teams that nobody ever gave us a chance to be able to beat. And we did it and got it done. Um, so that part of it, you know, when you look at, you know, our team beating a Notre Dame at home, those are just things that, you know, four years ago when this team was ranked before we got here, five years ago when it was the 70th ranked team in the country, you know, those are not realistic goals and now we're talking realistically talking about a national championship so you know I, I like our kids to have a chip on their shoulder and I usually find something that kind of bothers them a little bit and kind of gets them a little on edge and uh, and we embrace it as a program for me right down to them um, and it's something that we feel kind of gets everybody locked in and loaded on on one thing and that's just you know, us in our locker room that versus everybody else. So like Coach says, every day up until May, every day up until that second round of the NCAAs counts. So whatever we're doing now and whatever we're doing in the winter and preseason and every day during the season, it's, it's going to count and it's just got to be everything we got. And I love this team. We have something special here and we're fired up. I think this will be the best team we've had here, um, which is really exciting and, and scary all at once. But, um, you know, we have our eye on the prize and, and you know, we want to we bring a national championship to the American East and, and Stony Brook University. And, and we think all the pieces are in place. And it's now it's a matter of, of us as a program executing for, you know, from now until, until the Final Four. Coach says it all the time, you know, like, there's a big target on our backs this year. We beat Northwestern, we beat Florida, we beat Notre Dame, all these big name schools. And now we go play schools in fall ball and in whenever in preseason and they say, okay, now, you know, Stony Brook beat Florida. They're the team that we want to beat. So it's like, it's kind of a cool thing, but it's also a, it's a, an eye opener. So we got to be on our game at all times.